Thank you. Thank you very much, and uh, welcome back to the show. Uh, Simon Bond is a young cartoonist who likes to shock his readers, it says here, with drawings of black humor. His first book, 101 Uses for a Dead Cat, <laughs> has sold over one million copies. His newest collection is entitled Unspeakable Acts. Would you please welcome Simon Bond? Well, uh, uh, the, uh, I just apologize for these bloody rags. But what's the, you mean by bloody rags you're referring to your clothing? For my garb, what's yes. The, what's the matter with them? Well, I just sort of picked up a line from the play and I thought it was Oh, apropos. I see. Car you mentioned the... Uh, the Obviously wasn't noticed. The folks in the Valley Forge were wrapping themselves in bloody rags. Kind of a disgusting notion now. Yes. <laughs> well, certainly thanks for recalling our attention to that disgusting notion. <laughs> This is my job. I just observe life and report it. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, where were we? I uh, was behind here a few minutes ago. No, you were right there, and you look, uh, you look fine. That's Sporty. Yeah. Sporty. Yeah. Uh, it's a sweatshirt and jeans. Is it? But it's cashmere. Cashmere? No, I lied. <laughs> Doing my best. It's growing more and more fascinating by the second, <laughs> yes. though, isn't it? Sort of a level of mediocrity, but it's consistent. Now, uh, you don't you don't seem like the kind of fellow who would uh, uh, sell insurance. No, no, not sell insurance. Sell insurance. Um, I, now I forgot what I was going to say. Draw, draw. <laughs> Shall I just take it over? Yeah, go ahead. See what you can. You do. You don't seem like the kind of guy who draw this kind of type of cartoon, Simon. No, I'm not, David. No, I was going to say you don't seem like the kind of guy who would be silly enough to show up in a sweatshirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, hold on. Head back. We're not done with you. Sit down, Simon. Um, you are bigger than th I am. This aren't time you? of night, I get testy. That's right. Um, feisty, feisty. Now, we're, now, we want to talk about your book, or, or okay, at least, or at least one it. of us yes. does. <laughs> hey, let's do that. Uh, the dead cats. What's the deal with dead cats? How do you. Uh, about 7%. 7% is the, <laughs> the deal on dead deal. cats. Now. But what I was going to say, yes, sir. you seem like such a mild-mannered mild. fellow. How does one arrive at the notion that a collection of cartoons dealing with hard, stiff little dead kitties <laughs> would be something fun to do? Uh, I think it's prescription medicine. That if you have that for a long time, it works this way. Mm -hmm. I don't know, David. <laughs> it's an old idea. It goes back to 76. And I concocted it once living in Phoenix. It's probably because I lived in Phoenix I came up with the idea. If anybody's ever been to Phoenix, they'll know all about it. Now, can you, can you pinpoint the, the day that the notion occurred to you? Or is I know it, it was summer in 1975. Mm -hmm. It was a long time ago now, David. We were just kids, remember? <laughs> and uh, I just came up with it once. I sent it to Esquire, because Esquire went into to have full-page color cartoons, and uh, this was one of the ideas, and it was hastily returned. Oh, it? really? They didn't, yes. they didn't go for the first one? No, huh? they just threatened to blow my knees off. <laughs> Yes, I know. We're going to the pictures. <laughs> that, that's a nice one. <laughs> we have some pictures. Oh, oh what a surprise. We, we call them graphics in the business. All right, Simon. Let's go over the DCs, which is called. Yes, now, for the folks at home who have no idea what we're talking about, this is including one of us, uh, just tell us what we're dealing with here. This is from 101 Dead Cats. I don't want to use this one. This is a wheelbarrow. A wheel barrow. Mm -hmm. With two Which, dead kitties. That's right, and yeah. a live man. What did, did you always want to be a cartoonist? No. Or did you something else in uh, mind uh, early? Just wanted to be a star, David. Um, Making any progress? <laughs> Here we go. Well, this I is... was until now. I why you I ought to. Oh, this is a my mother's favorite. This is the uh, this is the plow. That's a plow. A plow with. That's dead a clever one. I, I like that one. Plow with dead kitty. This guy can certainly draw, can't he? <laughs> <laughs> you get the feeling this guy is an imposter, and the real yes, Simon Bond is tied up in the lobby. <laughs> he's uh, uh, he's with Bob the dog at the moment. Bob the dog. <laughs> yes, Bob. Hey, that's not a bad idea. Do we oh. have that tape? <laughs> Now, 
Yes, David. Uh, now this this uh, 101 Dead Cats thing sold a lot Quite of well. books. Still Major, selling. Yeah. Still doing well. Now you, your your follow up book is called Unspeakable Acts. Okay. Like tonight. Gonna it's gonna take a look at some of these. Yes, here comes an Unspeakable Acts. Is this, is this published now? Oh Soon yeah, it's be been out since before Christmas. So buy it, damn it. <laughs> a subtle guy, huh? And what have we here? This is a gentleman clipping his toenails in a restaurant. Uh -huh. And it's probably a good restaurant and cheap nails. Mm -hmm. That's what that one is. Now, how, how did these ideas come to you? Do, you? do you observe this stuff, or do you just imagine it, or are you... Uh... <laughs> I, actually, I think you just take life journey like, and just twist it very slightly. It's not that difficult. Even you could do it. <laughs> oh, maybe not you, but most people could. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, like <laughs> yeah. I like that pretty well. <laughs> a little, uh, a little baby toss. That's right. Uh -huh. Popular event in Barnum and Bailey. You gotta uh, rub the kids down with fish before they'll touch them. <laughs> we might have, we might have. Other than that, leave them unwashed. Oh, I like this. this you is do? Nice. This is oh, uh... gentle. This is a tossing tax into a new discovery. <laughs> Tossing tacks For those at that, naked people. Naked. <laughs> <laughs> I think that should be an Olympic sport, don't you? <laughs> naked people. Yeah. Now, but before... Uh, you, oh, you know, there's yours. Yeah, I like this one quite well. This is a goodie. <laughs> I won't stand for this one. <laughs> But you, you wanted to be a stand-up comic, I understand. Yes, I, I've done a bit of that. How do you like doing stand-up comedy? I, well, if I can get to the microphone, I don't mind. Really? We have problems, yes. Would you ever uh, consider adding that uh, to your career? Uh... Oh, yes. It, yes, I did. Yeah, sure. There's that. Oh, no. <laughs> See, well, you've gone too far now, son. Yes, I... Is the, is the yep, car waiting? You pushed your luck there, pal. <laughs> Have you ever performed in public the stand-up comedy? Uh, yes, I have, uh, David. Where about? Phoenix. Mm -hmm. I've, been, uh, <laughs> I've even performed at the, the Playboy Club. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, my wrist. It's your saxophone Z-barded. That's right. Do we have time for one more here? Just one quickly. More. Here's one more. Another one from Simon Bond's Reasonably charming acts. cartoon. I know. Oh, well, a, few, a lot of French people in the audience. Listen, I appreciate you being here. It was a, you a do? pleasure meeting you. Good heavens. Simon Bond, ladies and gentlemen. And, uh, we'll be